Welcome to part four of the series where we're trying to create an electric piano. In this part we're going to create an electric pickup, similar to a Fender Rhodes pickup. But before we do this, let's briefly look at how well it's a pickup works for as a comparison. So this works a lot like a capacitor. When two plates are near each other, they can store electrical charge. But when one plate moves closer or further away, the amount of charge it can hold changes. So when one of these plates is vibrating, the change creates a small current that can then be amplified. A Fender Rhodes pickup works in a different principle, much like a guitar pickup. This works by the magnetic field which is attracted to the tine, and as the tine vibrates, the magnetic field also moves. When the magnetic field moves through the coil of wire, the coil generates a small electric current, and this can be amplified to create that classic Fender Rhodes sound. Let's start looking at the Fender Rhodes pickup assembly. So this features a magnet at the center, a metal bracket, a plastic bobbin, and a coil of wire. As always, I'm trying to simplify the design and make it cheaper and easier to produce. The magnets are not something I really want to cheap out on though, and I'm going to use a guitar pickup supplier to get a large quantity of magnets that will work well and also be consistent. When purchasing these, they get significantly cheaper the larger the order that you make. The magnets in guitar pickups are relatively weak, especially when compared to neodymium magnets. This is ideal as a strong magnetic field can change the pitch of the note. Okay, so here's the design I've come up with. I've created this in FreeCAD, and this is just one part. The metal bracket and the bobbin are now combined into one part. So this makes it possible to 3D print it all, and it also requires no assembly, there's no alignment, there's no potential for any issues there. It's got all the features of the Fender Rhodes design, and there's still the hole in the centre for a magnet to be placed. This creates less parts. So next we need to wind the pickup with copper wire. Now we can do this by hand, but if you're going to try and make a whole piano, or even just something the size of a piano bass, this is going to take quite a long time. So to save that time, I've created a jig to allow me to do it easily and repeatably. So this features a support for the wire. The bolt controls the tension and also fixes the direction that the wire is going to enter the jig at. A servo is, is the next thing that the wire is going to see and this controls whereabouts on the bobbin the wire is going to be spooled onto. And then I've got a drill that's got a pickup attachment fixed to it. The drill features a magnetic switch that allows an Arduino to count the number of turns. This Arduino is programmed to turn on the drill until a set number of turns has been completed. It does take a few minutes to create each pickup, and I'll admit it isn't the prettiest setup, but it does seem to work well. So there's one feature that I haven't included that is on a Fender Rhodes electromagnetic pickup and that is that it has a small metal cap on the end of the magnet. And my plan is not to include this. Well, not for now anyways. I imagine this will change the wave shape. We'll, we'll discover that as we test it. Okay, so let's go back to the test rig and put our new pickup onto it. And let's see how it compares. So we've got the original Fender Rhodes pickup and we've got our new design. So it seems fairly similar. Okay, so that's it for this part of the DIY electric piano series. 
Um, yeah, watch out for the next part. And thank you for everyone that's liked and subscribed the video so far. It's much appreciated. Thank you.